Like many a boy and girl growing up in America, I rode the bus to school. And like many an awkward teen obsessed with technology, it was not a pleasant experience for me. I was unpopular. At the height of embarrassment, my A2 Brute moment came in the form of the bus driver joining in on the humiliation. A2, Lucinda? I thought we were friends. Clearly I hold a grudge to this day, which is why this day is so special to me. I'm about to ride a bus with no driver. The company Local Motors is testing out an autonomous shuttle named Ollie at California State University in Sacramento. I'm hoping the experience is so wonderful, I'll be forced to conclude that bus drivers are a thing of the past. Behold, Ollie. This beautiful autonomous shuttle tops out at a smooth 35 miles per hour and much like a school bus driver, is not afraid to pump those brakes. But isn't that the wonder of it? An artificial intelligence smart enough to understand when to slow down, when to stop, and most profoundly, when it's okay to continue onward? An onboard safety tech told me in the months he's been working with Ollie, the only problem he's seen is that maybe the shuttle is too safe. Oh, the stewards. Though their presence at first might seem like Oz's man behind the curtain, they're really only here for peace of mind, to bridge the gap between AVs and humans. State and federal regulations still require a human presence on board any autonomous vehicle, but Ollie is totally capable of operating by itself. Plus, it's definitely a perk to have someone on board to answer your many questions about how this robo-taxi works. Like, how was it 3D printed? The steward on board my second ride informed me that this particular model of Ollie was made of about 30% 3D printed materials. Newer models of Ollie, on the other hand, can be made of up to 80% 3D printed materials. That's a super cool little factoid I learned just going on the ride, and not really even something Local Motors talks about. All I know is, that must be a pretty big 3D printer. To start off, Local Motors requires passengers to sign up on their website, rideolly.com. Then they give you this QR code to scan as your ticket to ride. The interior of Ollie is fairly high end. Curvy, no hard lines, white faux leather seats. The only somewhat wonky bits are the steward's override controls in the corner, and if you're picky, the telltale print lines on the 3D printed lower sections of the cabin. Ollie was at Sac State as a result of a competition put on by local motors. Competing groups had to present the best plans for use for the fleet. As part of Sac State's plan, two shuttles tag teamed one route Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. during the spring 2019 semester. The kind people at Local Motors told me the deployment of Ollie at Sac State has been a success in that it shows students and faculty the technology is here, it can be trusted, and is a reliable look to the future to reinvent the ride. You like those hand gestures? <laughs> Thousands of riders have gotten to experience this eight-person shuttle at Sac State in the last three months alone, and there are other deployments happening in other parts of the country as well, including Arizona, California, Tennessee, and Maryland. So is Lucinda out of a job? Maybe not quite yet, but the technology is advancing at a rapid rate, and I'm here for it. So here's a toast to the robot overlords of our future. I don't drink, especially not in public. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs>